In this lesson, we are going to learn about parallel AC circuits. Okay, even your parallel AC circuits is very simple. You just have to remember one relationship. Okay, we are going to look at it right now. You know, in a DC circuit, if you have set of parallel resistors, okay, if you have these three set of parallel resistors across your terminal AB, okay, let's just say this is your R1, this is your R2, this is your R3, okay, you want to find out the equivalent resistance between your AB, then what do you do? If your equivalent resistance is R, then you simply have this relationship which states that inverse of R is equal to inverse of R1 plus inverse of R2 plus inverse of R3, right? Or essentially what you're saying is your equivalent conductance is equal to conductance of R1 plus conductance of R2 plus conductance of R3, okay? What is conductance? Conductance is 1 upon R, right? Similar to this concept of conductance, what you have is the concept of admittance in your AC circuit, okay? So, basically, in any AC circuit, if you have set of parallel impedances, then your net admittance is simply your admittance due to your impedance 1 plus admittance due to impedance 2 plus admittance due to impedance 3, okay? Learn it this way. Let's just say you have a impedance Z1, okay? You have a impedance Z2, you have a impedance Z3 connected like this, okay? Connected across AB, okay? You want to find out the equivalent impedance Z, okay? So, basically your equivalent impedance Z is given by Z inverse is equal to Z1 inverse plus Z2 inverse plus Z3 inverse, okay? Your Z inverse is known as or your inverse of your impedance is known as your admittance, okay? So, your admittance is represented by Y, okay? So, your net admittance across AB is given by admittance due to Z1, what is Y1? Y1 is simply inverse of Z1, okay? Plus admittance due to Z2. What is admittance due to Z2? It is simply 1 upon Z2, okay? And it is represented by your Y, okay? It's going to be Y2. Plus admittance due to Z3, okay? Admittance due to Z3 is simply 1 upon Z3, okay? So, you have to relate your resistance to impedance, okay? And your conductance to your admittance, okay? Your admittance is represented by Y, okay? Let's again look at my original equation that is to be used in parallel circuits, okay? I'll just copy this over here and I'll paste it down below. Now what I'm going to do is multiply throughout by voltage, okay? So I have a V over here, 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 okay? This basically means that I have V upon Z right? V into Z inverse is V into 1 upon Z, which is V upon Z, right? This is equal to V upon Z1 plus V upon Z2 plus V upon Z3, okay? What is V over here? Let's look at our diagram, okay? V is the voltage across AB, okay? So, this voltage is 